There was a lot of buzz coming out about this film, so I knew it was one I definitely wanted to check out this year at South by Southwest. And now that I did, I think it's time to get into that review right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. Yes, we're still at South by Southwest 2021, and this time we're talking about the film Executive Order, which is part of the narrative feature category, but also part of the 2020 spotlight section. Now, what's important about that is because that was last year, and that means that there's been people who's had an opportunity to check this already. Nonetheless, now this year... People in the U.S. are also getting a chance to uh, screen this film. And only in the U.S., although people from all over the world is at South by Southwest, only the U.S. is allowed to see it this year because it will be making this theatrical run in Brazil later this year. So that is a really key note as to where you can find this film um, right now or soon. Uh, but nonetheless... There was a lot of hype with this film. I heard uh, people saying this is one that you definitely want to check out. I thought the synopsis was definitely intriguing. Uh, and it was just a, co a combination of things. I was like, I definitely want to see what this was all about. Uh, but quickly, let me just get into the synopsis, then we can break it all down. So, in a dystopian near future in Brazil, an authoritarian government orders all citizens of African descent to move to Africa. So this creates chaos, protests, and an underground resistant movement that inspires the nation. So let me just put that in lamest terms. Brazil wants to go all white. If you had any bit of melanin in your skin, they want you out of there. They're hunting you down like animals, and they're essentially exterminating you. So, and, and, and what's the real kick about it is that they're like, go back to Africa, where people are even from Africa. There's people in the, in the film. It's literally like, I've never been there and they don't care. They essentially, they, they're, they equating your skin of you being of African descent, meaning you must go back to Africa. So this was an executive order, um, passed down by the government and everybody was instantly, uh, seeked out to be removed. So with that being said, um, I'm, 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 I'm gonna say that the premise of this film seems to have a premise that could be really dark. Or, or heavy, um, and 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 it could be triggering for some. I know I can speak for Black people saying that a lot of us are really tired of seeing films about police brutality, and just the things we see on a daily basis, and that there continues to be more and more film about it. The difference with this is that I the tone isn't it doesn't go that deep, it doesn't go that heavy, it doesn't go that severe. To be honest, this comes off more as a thriller to me. And there's even a humorous side to it, but at the same time, it's still ultimately light. Yeah, these type of things are happening during, during uh, in the film, but it's not solely premised around it. It will absolutely bring up uh, and spark social commentary without a question, but it's just not. It's that's just not the the emphasis on this film. So, with that being said, I can honestly see this being a film picked up by Netflix because I feel like it just fits its category. Uh, one, because of it uh, being uh, a Brazilian film. And, you know, uh, Netflix really uh, has a big library of international films. And also just because of the tone, because it doesn't go so heavy and it doesn't go so dark, so deep, that um, it, it it ultimately is a thriller to me. And, and there's a lot of suspense because essentially you have uh, Antonio, who's played by Alfred Enoch, who is West of the show um, How to Get Away with Murder. And then you have Tyus Araruyo, who plays Capito, who is a significant other. And essentially, they're in, when, when the executive orders pass down, they're away from each other. And now the whole mission is for them to get back to each other. So, you know, and while that's happening, you know, there is the whole idea of resistance. There's a whole idea of safety. There's a whole idea of finding shelter, whatever it may be. But that's really what drives the film. It's not so much the emphasis on the police brutality and its social injustice and the inequality that's going on within it. It's as strict as the government made a decision. If you are black, you have to leave. And that's really the overlining cloud of this film. But that's really not just the driving factor of what's going on. 
And then, like, I got to be honest, along with some of the humor, because, like, there's really no humor in this. That's how you know the tone was was supposed to be a little bit lighter. There's also, like, some futuristic things that kind of happen. Like, all of a sudden, new technology just comes out of nowhere, which I thought was, like, a little bit, like, I, I, like an eyebrow raiser to me. And then there was a few other things I thought was just a little inconsistent. But nonetheless, that's why I, I think it's very, very uh, important to to note that I don't feel like this film was like, when, when you look at it, you're not looking for a really heavy film that you got to worry about that could spark uh, trauma or any of that form of emotion uh, for us, us black people. Uh, so with that being said, too, I thought I, I it absolutely will spark social commentary. There's without a question of that. But I had different expectations and bigger expectations with this film, considering the buzz around it. But ultimately, I did enjoy it. I I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I thought the ending was entertaining. And I really love the black imagery of the beautiful black people, the unity amongst them, and um, the surrounding shots of the country. I thought that was really done well at the end of this. Also, the, the I love Brazilian music, so... Um, being able to throw that in with the score, I thought that was really good as well. But um, yeah, Executive Order, I think this film is a film that um, if, if you're looking for what to watch for coming out of South by Southwest, I think this is one that probably will suits better once it gets distribution. There's a lot of films that's coming out right now. And while I enjoyed this film, I don't think it was um, is I, at least my expectation of this film was totally different than what I got. Not saying I didn't enjoy it, but it definitely wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And that's fine. Uh, so, you know, definitely if you have an opportunity to check this out, do so. But, you know, I'm not going to tell you to strongly go out your way right now for this, because I think this is one that um, considering uh, the, the, the topics that's at hand here, uh, again, some people are going to look to this thinking it's one thing and it's going to end up coming becoming to be another, which I think this fits perfect for a streaming service uh, where it's one where you can just fall into it and realize like, wow, I enjoyed that and didn't even think I would. And I think that's exactly um, the emotions I got upon completing this. So again, executive order, order folks. And as always, stay tuned because we got more reviews from South by Southwest coming soon. Thank you for watching, folks.